it does add something to the song. Might even be a good way to start the song. By the way, Sequencer 24 is also very good for live performances, because all these things can be uh, cued and turned on and turned off with the keyboard. That's not something we're going to go over today. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Hopefully I haven't gotten over my 15 minutes. I'm going to add one or two more instruments. And uh, actually, I might just leave it at what I've got just to save time here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up this song editor here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then left click, draw on the drums there. I'm going to do the same thing there. And what I'm actually going to do here is I have this the, the drums kind of end right there. Let's drag that up so we don't have that ending there and we'll do that there and uh, going to add in actually this one here line that up so it matches up with our drums there I'm going to line this up to start here and actually didn't I say I was going to start off the intro kinda quiet like so actually let's uh, Let's move everything over about four four bars. That there, put that there, and uh, we'll start off. Let me have a look at my instruments again here. That's right. We're going to start with the last one. So I was saying we're going to start off. So I'm just going to draw on this here. And I'm going to draw in. Oop, not that. I don't want that there. Click it. Hit delete this here here I'm going to add this in probably about here I'll add let's actually let's shorten this up a little bit one bar I draw that in a few times I'll add this back in here and Just kind of having fun now drawing what looks good. Normally I have more instruments, more stuff going on so I can do a, uh, more of a build or, or whatever. <laughs> Okay, so now we have our sequencer. Let's save everything. I've already got my hydrogen stuff saved, but let's go ZYN add sub effect and go file, uh, and then I'm gonna say save all parameters. Go to where I have this project saved, and this will save all our settings for our, our instruments and ZYN add sub effect. Um, so I'll just call this synth, and it's gonna be XMZ, which is a ZYN add sub effect file, save that, great. Already have the hydrogen one saved. Now, sequencer 24, file, save as, and we're going to go to, oh, that's where I saved the original drum one to my home directory. Okay, uh, my music, universal sample, and we will call this uh, universal sample, spell things right. And it's going to save it as a MIDI file. And uh, at this point, ZY, or sorry, Sequencer 24 doesn't have uh, a way to save the audio itself because the audio isn't coming from that program. It's just playing the notes. Now, if I was working with just ZY and add sub effect, I could say record, choose wave, say, uh, name it whatever I want, press record, and on the first note, it will start recording to a wave file. But since I'm using Hydrogen uh, as my drum machine, I could export Hydrogen's audio uh, and ZYN's audio, audio, bring them both into a track editor and mix them. But for this, I'm just going to go real simple. I'm going to open up a uh, wave editor that I like. Uh, it's called uh, MH Wave Edit. It's very simple, great for trimming uh, waves down in audio files. 
I'm going to start a new session, and then in my Jack connections here in Pattage, I'm going to find, here's my uh, MHWE, that's, that's my wave editor. I'm going to disconnect this because by default it's connected to my microphone, which I don't want. But I'm going to take my ZYN add sub effect, connect it out, and connect it into there. And same with hydrogen out, connect it in there, connect that into there. So now I got both hydrogen and ZYN add sub effect going to that. Now I could also throw um, something like um, uh, 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 Patage, not Patage, rack a rack in the middle there and add audio effects like reverbs and echoes, which ZYN adds absa effect and um, hydrogen can also do themselves, but I really like rack a rack. I could throw that in the middle there and pipe the, the them through the effects, but I like the way the song sounds the way it is, so I'm not going to do that. So at this point, all I'm going to do is press record here. It's not recording until I click start record, and I'm going to go to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press start record here and then play here. Or actually play here. So right now it's recording the audio out to that wave application just as we're hearing it. And um, I can also trim off the beginning again and maybe do an audio fade. Oh. Like it's clipping quite a bit, uh, so we might have to adjust uh, hydrogen's audio levels a little bit. We'll see how it's done. I'm gonna let this record trim it up. If it's clipping, and I can just adjust the audio levels and record again. Um, that's pretty much it. Once again, not really a tutorial, more of just showing you how I do things. Um, but uh, check out this song. I'll have a link to it. Um, and download the files to mix them or any of my other songs. Um, download the project files so you can remix stuff, play with stuff, see how I do stuff. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Check out the links in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.